Hey, good morning, everybody. Pastor JC here. I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day. It's Monday, and here we go again, head first into another week. I hope you are blessed. Man, what a great time we had at Crossroads yesterday as we uh, had our first Sunday of Youth Month, and it was fantastic. Had a great time and celebrated our young people, celebrated Jesus. But I want to remind you today, and I want to talk to you for just a moment about, do you have what it takes? As I was reading the Word of God this morning, as I was meditating on the Lord, I, I was drawn back to the story of Peter and the disciples in the boat on the lake, and the storm came up, and they were afraid. They were doing everything they could to make sure that they were safe. And Jesus came walking to them on the water. And in this story, at first they thought Jesus was a ghost, and they were afraid. They thought it meant their death for sure. And Jesus came to them walking on the water and he said to them, do not be afraid, it is I. Have you ever been in a difficult situation in your life and you were stressed out, you were worried, you were fearful, you were anxious, you didn't know what was gonna happen and maybe you were losing sleep and all of a sudden, you came into the presence of Jesus and he said, do not be afraid, it is I. And simply his presence changed everything. And he looked at Peter and Peter said, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you on the water. And Jesus said, come on. Do you know what it must have taken for Peter to get out of that boat? Up until that moment, he had been clinging to that boat for dear life. He had been doing everything he could, holding on to that boat just to spare his life. But in a moment, he came into the presence of Jesus and everything changed. Everything changed from fear to faith. Think about it for a moment. Peter's standing there and the Lord says, come, walk to me on the water, Peter, come on. Peter had some choices to make. Was he gonna have what it takes to follow through and walk in faith? Well, you know the story. Peter got out of the boat and he started walking to Jesus. And I think that's such a powerful profession of faith. Yes, I know he took his eyes off of Jesus for a moment and he began to sink and he cried out. But think about that one moment where he first throws his leg over the side of the boat to step out on the water. He'd never walked on water before. He didn't know what to expect. Every time he'd been in water and he'd stepped in the water, he went under the water before. And yet in, the, in this second, in this season, Jesus said, walk to me on the water. And Peter got out of the boat. He had what it took. All the other disciples didn't have the faith to do it. They stood back and watched, maybe afraid, maybe amazed, maybe trying to talk Peter out of it. But listen, when Jesus' presence shows up, it turns our fear into faith. And all of a sudden, the whole atmosphere is changed. And when Jesus speaks, we need to be willing and ready to step out of the boat and walk in faith, even if we've never done it before, even if we've never been involved in that area of ministry before, even if we've never gone and done the things that the Lord is telling us to do. It doesn't matter. His presence changes everything. Walk in faith. So I ask you today, do you have what it takes to follow Jesus no matter what? Do you have what it takes to hear his word and walk in obedience? Do you have what it takes to step out of your own boat? I love you today, praying for you that faith will fill your heart, your soul, your spirit, every part of you. In Jesus' name, I love you. Take care of yourselves.